What's up, everybody? It's Webster Style Brian Sad from the NRW Checkpoint for another NRW React. And I guess it's about that time of year. We're getting all of the uh, influx of, of Netflix coolness that's coming out, especially animated stuff. Well, almost it's animated, but we're about to find out. Uh, we have a new movie on Netflix, A Little Ant, A Little Hero, uh, Nimona, dropping June 30th. Queen Killer is still out there. Oh, he's a murderer. He's a monster. He's perfect. Oh, I remember. Did I see this trailer? Yeah, I think I saw part of it. Yes. Okay. Who are you? Yes. Your sidekick has arrived. I don't need a sidekick. Every villain needs a sidekick. I'm not a villain. The real villain is still out there, and I do need help. And then. Who do you want to kill first? What? Look, I can help you, but promise me you won't freak out. Why would I trust you? Promise! I promise! Even when you see the horn? Horn! Promise! I promise, promise, I will not freak This is the part where you run. Ah! They call me help! Ah! They call me Stacy! You're a shapeshifter! They call me her! Monster attack! They call me Jane! Monster attack! That's not my name! You did that on purpose. You catch on quick, boss! That's not my name! Something, 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 we win. I'm Mr. Cat, if they call me the phone. Anyone can yeah. find out. It's me. They call me help. They call me Stacy. Ambrosius really thinks I'm a murderer. It's not my name. You got betrayed by someone you trusted. Because once everyone sees you as a villain, it's not my name. That's what you are. Do you think you saw us? Yes. <laughs> The world kicks you around sometimes. But together, we can kick it back. Mona, smart, kind, and sophisticated. That guy just beat his armor. He beat his armor. Oh, I like where this is going. Let's break stuff. Promise I'm your official sidekick forever and ever. No take backsies. Can you just be you? I don't follow. I am glad that we've gotten to the point in computer animation that they have unique art styles now. Mm -hmm. um, that the films can really stand apart on their own, visually speaking. They all, don't all look the same like we did, right. you know what, in the 2010s. Outside of Pixar. <laughs> right. I don't know. I think there was a reason why I stopped watching this trailer earlier today. <laughs> no, no, don't give me. It looks cute. It looks cuddly. But there's something that just took me out of it. Mm -hmm. And also, just seeing the whole thing, I feel like this is one of those times they give so much of the story away in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. I'm still the only thing that's. I don't know. The only thing that I'm like trying to piece together with the trailer is like, because obviously there's this little section in there where you can see like she has a hard life, right? right? So I'm trying to figure out what about these characters is supposed to endure me to them to watch it. She has a story like I don't necessarily know his, so I'm you know I'm interested, um, but it's just not it's not Pixar, it's not DreamWorks. <laughs> So even with that, like the art style is appealing, but just to for me, mm -hmm. the story itself, what I'm gathering, even with the um being betrayed by the, the person that he loved, and now he's this villain and he's trying to do the right thing. Like I get all of that. I get the standoff and and she, I get all of that. There's nothing about the, the the story from the trailer. The the movie unto itself may be a whole lot better than this trailer. Right. But the trailer, judging on alone, is like it just doesn't grab me because I see so much of the story there. Mm -hmm. And like you say, I get nothing endearing about these characters. Uh, the title character, Nimona, she seems like the stereotypical yeah. hard knock life kid who everybody counted out. And then this is her way to find some sort of purpose. And then she finds a family or at least 
it seems like the stories we've seen before, just with a new yeah. company. Yes. I'm I'm interested to see whatever the spin is that they have on it. Like obviously right. she's like the shape shifter, turns all these different animals and all this other stuff. I wonder how deep that part goes. Right. But I'm also wondering like what did he do for his lover to portray him and all this right. other stuff? Um but other than that, yeah, it's gonna be that they gave us the story, just right. left out the key details to keep us like invested. So I don't know. I, I won't give it a try. I like little movies like this every now and then. So I'm, I'm gonna check it out and see what you're talking about. All right, sounds good. Well, that's our take on the Mona dropping on Netflix on June 30th. If you're with Nerds Rule of the World, make sure you follow us on Twitter at the NRW, on Instagram at New Release Wednesday. And of course, you're currently on YouTube. So make sure you like share, and above all else, subscribe.